welcome to St. Leonard's Church, Lexton. I'm Matt, I'm the priest in charge here. And more importantly, welcome to the first ever uh, online Lexton Fate. Uh, this is a parish church, which means that it's uh, a church for the whole of this uh, community. And there's been a church on this site for at least 800 years, perhaps more. And of course, a village on this site, and now a, a, a suburb of Colchester all around. So, the fate exists each year to celebrate Lexton and to celebrate St. Leonard's and to have some fun. Sadly, we can't be together as we'd normally be this year. Uh, so, we've asked you to contribute things, send in pictures and uh, photographs and videos and music. And this online fate is what has resulted. So, thank you so much uh, for coming together as a community. It means a lot. I've enjoyed putting it together and we hope you enjoy it now too. So get yourself a cup of tea or coffee, a scone, sit back and relax and enjoy the first ever uh, online Lexton Fate. Here we go. This fate is dedicated to all those who have been affected by COVID and to all those who are caring for others at this time. From home carers, teachers and to all the NHS, from bin men to delivery drivers, from the emergency services to food bank volunteers and all the others we haven't mentioned. Thank, Thank you. you. We start with fancy dress, essential for any serious fate. And on the theme of films, I'm guessing this is 101 Dalmatians. I don't know why I know that. And that is an extraordinary costume almost as extraordinary as this terrifying depiction from Richard and Freya of Jurassic Park. Now, I'm not sure I recognise that football kit, but it's from the Alston household. Ah, oh, is that Michael Fabricant and Anne Widdicombe? No, it's Scooby-Doo. Lovely stuff. General Kenobi, mm, goodness. I'm afraid my mission to bring you to Alderaan has failed. I have placed information vital to the survival of the rebellion into the memory systems of this R2 unit. My father will know how to retrieve it. You must see this droid safely delivered to him on Alderaan. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. That spaceship appears to be made out of chipboard. Good stuff. Ah. Two frozen princesses, I believe, from the Manning household. Ah, some uh, Tudor dress here. What's your favourite Tudor film? I quite like A Man for All Seasons. Now, some magic. Here's Harry Potter and what is going to happen? I don't know. That is quite an extraordinary spell almost as extraordinary as a costume combined with a whole dance routine. I wonder how they do the rain. They've done the rain! Ella, excellent work, thank you. Ah, oh, here is Dorothy and Toto from Amelia. Wonderful. Now here's Agneta, maybe, from ABBA, played by Kerry, I think. Yes, it is. Well done. All I want oh, I'm going to have to join in. Here we go. Far away from the cold night air, with one in all chair, Lots of chocolate for me to eat Lots of coal making lots of heat Warm hands, warm face, warm feet Oh, wouldn't it be lovely? Wonderful stuff. Thank you all. Now, just in case you are new to the whole Lexton fate thing, I thought I might share with you what it's normally like. There are lovely human beings... There are amazing cakes. There are lots of things that you can buy if you want to buy, and many of them are lovingly made. 
the sun turns out most years. And the food and refreshment is uh, beyond reproach, as you'll see from these two gentlemen who will welcome you. Lots of people turn up, they look through the brick and brack, they listen to the music from the brass band. There are plants for sale of a very high quality. And toys. You never know what you'll find, always worth digging through. And there is a bar where we don't sell tequila. I'm sure we can uh, agree it'd be good for me to be quiet for a bit now. No more parties for a week or two Fun and laughter on our virtual festival Stopping us from being blue For a week or two We're going where the church shines brightly We're going where the stars stand true We've seen it in all in the beer tent So let's share some barbecue you're wondering that amazing singing is by our very own church choir. Hi, it's Councillor Sue Lissy Moore here and one of the borough councillors for Pretty Gate which covers the Lexton area and I'm also um, the county councillor for the area as well. I just wanted to say a great thank you to the church for everything they've been doing during this crisis and how wonderful it is to be able to still have the fate running even though of course it's virtual and it's online. I have entered my French beans, I hope I may get somewhere with those but good luck to everybody and stay safe, keep healthy, keep your distance, but enjoy. A little ditty I wrote about our community of Lexton. Our building stands empty, the pews are all bare. No choir is singing, no hymns fill the air. Where is our community? Where has it gone? Where is its prayer? Where is its song? I'm happy to report it's alive and well. Behind closed doors our community dwell. We're following services online and TV, joining to praise God through technology. We wait for the day when doors open wide, when we gather for prayer, where our hearts abide. Between now and then we can join together at the virtual fate, whatever the weather. 
I hope you're enjoying the faint. God bless. If you like biscuits as much as I do, you are going to love this poem. Here and biscuits there, eat a biscuit everywhere. Crunchy biscuits, custard creams, biscuits in your biscuit dreams. Shortbread biscuits, ginger nut, jammy biscuits pick you up. Chocolate cookies, chocolate chips, melted chocolate on your lips. Say yeah, yeah to your biscuit feet. Say yeah, yeah to the biscuit feet. Say yeah, yeah, it's a biscuit treat. Biscuits plain and biscuits sweet. Hello everyone. It's Richard Potter, the head teacher of Home Farm Primary School here. Thank you very much to Reverend Simkins for inviting me to do a short video message for the Lexton Online Fate. It's my first online fate, and I hope it's my last because the best fates are all ones where we can see each other, gather together, talk, 
teas, coffees and throw things at crockery. The best fates are always ones where you get to see people in the flesh. Sadly, in these modern times, though, that's going to be very difficult. So the staff and pupils of Home Farm Primary School would like to support this by just sending the message out to the community that we hope that everybody is well and everybody is safe. We've been opening up for key workers and helping those professions support us through these dark times. And slowly we're increasing our numbers at school to let some normality seep back into life. We have been very, very thankful for the messages of support from the residents and everybody who is local. Um, I've had the honourable position of being able to talk to a number of people over the last few months about what we're doing and it, it's been wonderful to share. I hope this online fate is a perfect opportunity for those of you who have not been able to leave the house to see some other faces and get some messages of support in return. So from Home Farm to you, best wishes, keep safe. At St Lens we try to provide all sorts of things for uh, children and young people and in normal times we have our youth group OMG, we have junior church every Sunday, one Sunday a month we have our all age service, we have our brick club, our parent and toddler group and we have something called Messy Church that happens every six weeks, uh, two months. Uh, Messy Church does what it says on the tin, it combines mess, craft, fun, usually for sort of infant and primary school aged children. Uh, with church which is more fun than you might think um, we do this with crafts and stories and games and we usually have a messy church tent at the fate instead we are going to have a messy church video presented by Kirsty and featuring the incredible bug game here it comes enjoy so the first thing to do to create your bug knots and crosses is first of all to go hunting and you need to have a look in the garden and scavenge around for some stones. So I did that earlier on and I've come up with these stones here. And then you wanna have a little look at the stones and find 10 stones that are around about the same size. So have a little look at mine, they're all different sizes, but I think what I've got here is I found 10 that are around about the same size and then you can get to work. And there you have your ladybug and bee knots and crosses. So cute. The Ning Nang Nong are by Spike Milligan. <laughs> On the Ning Nang Nong, where the cows go bong and the monkeys all say boo, there's a Nong Nang Ning, where the trees go ping and the teapots jibber jabber jew. On the Nong Ning Nang, all the mice go clang, and you just can't catch them when they do. So it's ning nang nong, cows go bong, nong nang ning, trees go ping, nong ning nang, the mice go clang. What a noisy place to belong. 
It's the ding nang ding nang no. St. Leonard's is itself a charity, but the core of our mission is uh, actively supporting charities across the world and here in Colchester. And in 2019, just a, a selection of the charities we supported included the Food Bank, the Cap Debt Centre, Christian Aid, Colchester Soup Run, the Children's Society, the Sheepfold Centre, Fresh Beginnings, Beacon House, the Church Urban Fund, the Seafarer Centre, Operation Christmas Child, Macmillan Cancer Care and New Hive. Uh, but one charity that we're particularly uh, engaged with is Colchester Cap Debt Centre, which is a wonderful charity that aims uh, to release people uh, from their debts. And here is a little video about them. <laughs> along for walking my shoes with Christians Against Poverty. I'm here with Sandra. Hello. Sandra was one of our clients. Uh, Sandra, can you tell me what it means to you being debt free now? It's fantastic. It's a good feeling. Not having them bills come through the door, um, demanding money, um, threatening letters. Um, it's just a good feeling. And I became debt free in December and that was really good. What would you say uh, to someone thinking about phoning for CAP today? I'd say definitely do it because it's the best thing I did and it will, it's just a weight off your shoulders. Morning from Lexington Primary School. My name's Alex Candler and I'm the head teacher. I've worked at Lexington for the last 15 years and what makes it a truly special place to be is the sense of community surrounding the school. The support that we receive from family, friends and the local residents is simply fantastic. If there was ever a community that deserves celebrating, it is Lexington. I hope you have a lovely time at the virtual fete. Take care of each other and stay safe. Now, one of the most important things about any fate is, of course, a tea and cake. And perhaps you've got some with you at home now. I hope you can enjoy that. Uh, we're quite famous at St. Leonard's for our hospitality, I hope. And that includes amazing uh, cakes. Now, normally I would like to savour these cakes to uh, judge them. And this year, uh, we're just going to have to look at some photographs of some amazing decorations from at home. But so that I can really appreciate them as we go through, I'm going to eat some cake um, as we uh, go. So I hope you're uh, ready. Uh, we're going to begin now. Oh boy, this is torture. That looks amazing. Thank you, Rachel. Good work. Ah, a cake with a nice bit of bite. Are those are spaghetti whiskers, I wonder? Excellent work. Now, I'm not sure I recognise this uh, football team. It's not Colchester. I don't think it's Ipswich. Hmm. Ah, now these are Lexton Morris Men cakes. A sign of excellent taste. Thank you, Anne. And Amelia has given us this wonderful decoration of, I think, coconut and jam, a classic, brilliantly executed. Look at those flowers, uh, beautiful and delicious. I'm sure Chris had a wonderful birthday. And here is a, a John Deere tractor with the essential wagon wheel wheel. self-portrait of Martha very sweet some more incredible work this time from Anne-Marie how beautiful is that 
Well, that was wonderful. Thank you so much to those of you who sent in your uh, pictures. Just a reminder that when things get back to normal, mm, excuse me, speaking my mouth full, when things get back to normal, you're very welcome to drop off some cakes for me to try out in the flesh, of course. Thank you. Lexton in lockdown. Open the church, the people cried. We need to talk to God inside. Right now, with this appalling virus, we need to be where he's beside us. It isn't safe, the bishop said. You'll have to pray at home instead. And soon you'll see the church is people, not buildings made with tower or steeple. And so the people stayed at home. They kept in touch by Zoom and phone, the prayers and services from the rectory and curate's homes were a necessity. The body of Christ in loving unity upheld the faith in our community, where all are valued, young and old, newcomers welcomed to the fold. One of the things we take very seriously at St Leonard's is Lego, of course, and we have a regular a brick club that meets during normal times. Here are some Lego models to keep us interested. Now that looks like a very Star Wars-y speeder to me. A fabulous, fabulous model there. You're quite right to look very pleased with yourself. Well done, sir. Now I recognise this. This is uh, St. Leonard's. Fantastic. There's the war memorial and the paths, the beautiful trees. Uh, thank you for this. Brilliant effort and very imaginative. Oh, I see. This is what goes on inside. And, uh, yeah, I don't think that vicar is quite handsome enough, but uh, the R2-D2 hat is definitely right. And the bloke with the uh, banana costume on comes most weeks. I want to tell you about this amazing piece of uh, footage. This is our friend Rosemary, and she actually put this together to send to her friend who was a bit poorly and in hospital to cheer her up. Well, it worked, it cheered her up, and now it's going to cheer us up too. Thank you, Rosemary. I know that during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, Sadly, we've had to close our doors for public worship and had to suspend a few of the things that we normally do, things like friendship lunches and bereavement groups, uh, various bits of ministry for children and young people and access to our church hall and our lovely church rooms. But the church is the people and the people are still here in Lexington praying for you and worshipping and trying uh, to bring about uh, good things and if you want to uh, find our children's and youth's activities online or join in with our worship you can find it at facebook.com forward slash st leonard's lexton that's st leonard's lexton you can also find us on youtube if you just type in st leonard's lexton and we upload some of our messy church junior church and worship materials there if you're in need of prayer why not email prayer at stleonardslexton.org.uk that's stleonardslexton.org.uk and we'll use social media to keep in touch with the community about how and when uh, we're able to open the building 
uh, for worship once again. You might like to know that we made a little lockdown charity download album in aid of the Cavell Nurses Trust. And here is how you can get it. It's pet show time. I've been looking forward uh, to this. And we're going to start with some scruffy pets. Well, this creature looks wonderful. As does this young pup. I'm not sure um, scruffy is a respectful term. Now I gather this cat is 18 years old. I don't know how old these doggies are, but they look pretty happy. As does this fine and proud creature. Ah, oh, now, I think this is Timmy the dog showing his amazing skills. Well done. Here's my tortoise falling off a log. He actually enjoys it. His name is uh, Jeffrey. Now, pets like owners. Here you can see the devotion of this creature to something. I think probably uh, food. Ah. Uh, Always good to have a nice companion. And the first guinea pig of the day. An uncanny resemblance. I think the guinea pig just needs a, a princess dress. And here we have face paint uh, to look like Jeffrey the tortoise. Remarkable. And here we've got a few uh, pictures to show you the similarity between and across species. Oh dear. <laughs> An excellent hat. Pink sombrero, you can't beat it. And here is a mason bee that looks just like his owner. Are you ready? Here it comes. Andrew, that is uncanny. I've got some great news about the opening of St. Leonard's for individual private prayer. Uh, we've been working hard to get things ready and safe, and we're gonna be able to open for two periods of individual private prayer a week, beginning on Wednesday, the 24th of June. And from then on, uh, the building will be open from one until 5 p.m. each Wednesday, and from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. each Sunday. Keep an eye on our website just to check the opening hours and the opening hours will also be indicated on the poster boards that are outside the church facing uh, the road. Okay, folks, we've come to that point. Lexton has long been a hotbed of innovation and I'm thrilled to share with you uh, one of the great innovations of our time. We have come up with 
socially distanced Morris dancing. Now I must just say that I'm afraid I do play the violin in this and the bits where it goes out of time, that's entirely my fault. Nevertheless, the spirit and the love is there. Please uh, make sure you're sitting down because this is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, I present socially distanced Morris dancing. come to the end of the magical journey that was the Lexton online fate thank you so much for joining us um, do join us next year when we hope things will be back to normal and we'll be in the churchyard again I need to say thank you to lots of people but I can't remember them all so I've tried to write it down first of all thank you to everybody who submitted material it was wonderful I'm sorry we couldn't include everything and if anything got omitted it was my fault I'm really sorry but thank you for sending it in I want to say thank you to Robin Greater X who uh, usually organises our fate and had already put in a lot of work for this year. Thank you, Robin, we really appreciate you and we know the community appreciates the fate because of your efforts. Thank you to those in the community who contributed a little word for us, Mr. Potter, Mr. Candler, Sue Lissamore. I just wanna say thank you to all the community figures. We've got heads and uh, councillors, those who run uh, businesses and whoever you are, wherever you are, uh, thank you for being part of Lexton's community. Let's continue to support each other. Uh, music. We were blessed to be able to use music by the Westburgo Concert Band. I recommend them uh, to you. And they normally rehearse uh, in Heathland School, Westburgo, from 6 to 7 for their training band on Fridays and 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. for their concert band, also on Fridays, also at Heathland School. At the moment, they're doing it at Zoom. You can find out more at wbcb.org. Thank you to the Columbines, wonderful uh, trio. They also allowed us to use some of their music. Check them out, columbinesmusic.com. Thank you to the Colchester Cap Debt Centre for the video um, you put uh, together. And thank you to you once again uh, for watching. We got there uh, eventually. St Leonard's is a charity, unlike all uh, charities and social organisations, we've really been hit hard uh, by the COVID pandemic, especially our uh, income. And so if you felt moved and you'd like to uh, donate towards uh, St. Leonard's, uh, you can go to stleonardslexton.org.uk. That's stleonardslexton.org.uk. And there's a button there um, that you can press and donate something if you want to. But whether you want to donate something or not, um, I wish you uh, all the best. I can't wait to welcome you back into our building uh, very soon, I hope. Please stay well and God bless you all. Cheerio.